Marshall, Brandon, you mentioned earlier some of the storms we were hit with earlier. Is that going to delay Santa in any way for delivering his toys? I don't think so because the good news is they were quick hitters. They came through very fast, but they're also exiting very fast with that cold front. So that's some saving grace. But some folks seeing some damage tonight, so not a good situation on Christmas Eve. Let's get right to the forecast. Live pinpoint Doppler radar. We track all this mess across the border now moving into parts of southwest Virginia and southern West Virginia here this evening. We're going to continue to watch that. The good news is all active severe thunderstorm warnings have expired. They canceled the Logan County, West Virginia one a little early, so that's some good news. So all this exiting the area, still some showers back off. The good news is the temperatures are cooling behind that cold front, so that's taking any instability out of the mix, but the wind very stout there for a while. 55 mile an hour gust in Knott County is the highest I've seen so far, but we do have reports of some damage over in Leslie County with a house possibly being blown off of a foundation, so we're checking on that for you. Hope to have more a little bit later on. Temperatures across the area falling quickly. We were in the mid 60s today, down into the 40s now across a big chunk of the area this evening. We're going to continue to see that fall through the nighttime hours into the mid to upper 30s. But the bad news is, by the time we get cold enough where this could transition over to snow to give us a little bit of a white Christmas, most of the moisture is already gone. You see the last six hours, the edge of the system already visible back out toward the west. We go on deeper into the forecast, and you can see all the way back out towards St. Louis, most of this wrapping up around that low, taking you deeper into the nighttime hours, gone by late tonight, early tomorrow, and temperatures will get a bit on the cooler side for tomorrow before rebounding on Friday, back close to the 60-degree mark as we head deeper to the forecast tonight. We dropped about 36. We'll see mostly cloudy skies and rain wrapping up. We'll check on Santa here in a second. Let's get you to the forecast first. The rest of the forecast for the next couple of days. Small chance early tomorrow morning. So if you're traveling early to see family, should be okay. 45, a little cooler tomorrow. Close to 60, though, by Friday. Some rain chances return this weekend. Emma. Excuse me, we'll continue to see cooler temperatures toward the first of next week. So again, one of those situations where we're back and forth with the forecast. Let's take a look at Santa's track real quick this evening. We're seeing him now traveling over uh, Molly, heading to Molly here in about a minute or so. So right around 11 o'clock, we're expecting him here in our area. We'll keep tracking him and letting you know where he's at. Sports is next.